Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do something a little bit bit different because I have been having a full out organise of all my crafting area and I'm talking about my whole crafting area because this is just my desk and then I have this bit which is my bookcase slash racking slash filming attachment area and I have organised all of my ribbon storage that's just my ribbon Okay, then I have these two movable crafting units and then I've got, that's my general crafts and bobbles, there's like glue, like I said pens and pencils and like pipe cleaners and children crafting bits and things like that. The box with the love on there, that's my entire box of silk flowers and things like that. And then this second one down here, it's headbands, satin ribbon unusual ribbon and all bits and pieces like that then I have this one which is my paper notepads like I said lots and lots of idea notepads my computer uh, printer and all my paper is here my boxes for when I set my ribbon with um, hairspray to stop it getting all over my desk and everything like that cork ribbon more flowers all in individual little bag so I can find them all they're all in that one and then these two are the ones I want to talk to you about the most and these are my drawers of sort of I don't know how you want to but it's basically half finished projects projects that I sort of half got into and then decided I didn't like the style of ribbon or something happened and it didn't quite turn out how I, how I wanted it to and I'm in the process next week. My plan is to literally take this drawer and its sister drawer, which is just as deep. I'll just show you. That's how far back they go. Like, there's another half a foot of, or so of that one. Um, and like I said, they're absolutely full from top to bottom. Um, I'm going to go through all of them. And a lot of them, I'm going to be able to be able to actually save the ribbon. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go through all of them find the ones where it's just a matter of like I said like this one it's just a matter of actually finishing the middle and wrapping the center putting a clip on so I'm going to go through all of them and see how many bows I can actually save because I think there's a lot more stuff in there that I can actually recover than I've been paying attention to so I'm going to organize and actually stop wasting some of my supplies because I've been terrible for that recently so in this smaller movable rack Oh, I've also got my iron up there as well and then that's my sewing machine crafting box and my mini fans for when it gets a bit warmer in here so in this roller the smaller one which I got from Hobbycraft I always wait till they're on, on offer and this one cost me I think it was £15 instead of £13 when it was on offer or 20 instead of 40 but like I said it's not worth it at the £40 mark but it is worth it at the £20 mark especially if like now when it's getting slightly warmer if you like crafting outside on your patio table these are perfect because you can just literally roll them wherever you want them to but in here I keep my two wooden template sets which is my new one from Siobhan and my old one inch all the way up to 12 inch set and then also in this one I have two big storage boxes of embellishments and I've had to literally sit through these today and reorganize them all because I moved this earlier and my catches weren't on and I threw it all every everywhere all over my floor so I've had to reorganize them and tidy them all up properly and then I've got another four lots of these like I said everything they're all double sided as well and I actually pick these up from Poundland for a pound a piece so they're quite cheap even though they're smaller and then I also have pom poms and general crafting my gems for embellishments this is my Halloween one and the other one is Christmas and I keep my felt circles in here as well then this next one the top two are all my tools 
and this is my main glue glue gun at the moment that I use which is dual temperature and that one is a Tepco that I got off um, Amazon but I also have because I am extremely clumsy and I do mean extremely clumsy I have two large hobby craft big guns and mini craft mini hobby craft glue gun and lots and lots and lots and lots of glue sticks because um, I'm one of these people crafting keeps me sane so I always have to have a backup plan in case I break this because like I said because of my clumsiness I drop these on a regular basis and the other thing I do is I can be too forceful on that and like I said it's the key parts of them that break so like I said once they've been dropped a certain amount of time they just don't not quite the same after a bit and I also have a bit of tin foil in here and I use that occasionally just to sharpen up my glitter scissors because um, you can literally fold it in half and cut it a little bit and it sort of slightly sharpens your scissors so if you've only got the cheap ones and you've only got small projects it's, it's a nice little thing to know to sort it out and I also have in my second tool basket got two sets of straighteners my big ones and my small ones and I use them for creasing and heat transfers I've got my hot fix set so that's my tools, the heads, the stands and the actual gems. This is my cam clip set with all my cam clips and my cam clip tool and the heads are in there as well. And I've also got the rest of the cam set in there. I've got my bias making tape maker kit some uh, metal templates I've got a project in mind for them but I haven't got to it yet I have my wood burning tool but I don't tend to use it very much because uh, my craft area is not very well ventilated and it smells a bit too much for me and on my desk I have this white cloth bit but I also have a tempered glass top and I don't like having to move that from one side of the desk to the other um, just too much for me some days so like I said I have all of that in there and I even have a soldering iron from other crafts and I've got my little pom-pom makers so that's all in that one Let's put everything back like so this is what I mean when I said I've been organized I got my tray of fabrics that's all in there this one is my bag of scraps you know for centers so I've made a bow out of one of my glitters or leather sheets it goes in there so like I said if I need to make a centre for the middle this is all of my faux leathers glitters printed canvas etc in that one and this one is all of my felt and they're literally this is how deep they are and they are full from top to bottom on those ones and then not only do I have my craft desk, I have my craft drawer. And this is all the useful bits that I like to keep in here. So here I have a selection of my templates and I have those cut out from my sister's big shots uh, with the name of the make and which bow it is. Like I said, that's what I use for cutting out my hand cut bows if I don't make them freehand. And then I've got trims for my bow and gem chains for the bow centres a whole selection of hair bubbles and you can just see the black and brown from here but I've got all different colours underneath these are my gems for like I said again for centres and I've got my invisible thread and my beading needles and as you can see here I told you I was a bit of a hoarder I haven't been able to find any lighter fluid or clippy lighters at my local corner store because obviously we're not going as far as we're used to. So I ended up uh, bulk buying 50 clippy lighters from uh, an, e uh, an Amazon vendor because of the nice ones. It's got a nice plastic clip and this nice metal bit. So like I said, I've got 50 of those. That's why they're absolutely everywhere. And I've also got my textile markers and things like that. And then this is my terror this is my stuff that hop that the bow makers do that we don't like to admit to this is the bowl that i typically keep under my desk here 
um, excuse that, some glue on my, my, my desk from other projects. So that basket normally sits under there. And what happens is, it's when I'm in the middle of a project and I've got this little bit left over that doesn't fit on a roll, I have a habit of just dumping it in this basket and then carrying on with the project that I'm doing. And then this basket just gets left until um, basically sort of every two months I sort of go through it, roll any ribbon that's a bit longer say like this and that goes back in my ribbon ribbon boxes and the rest sort of gets given to my nieces or if it's big enough I can turn it into bows but like I said I'm a terror for like I said just leaving it like I said I need to start getting a bit more organized which is the whole point of this project this is my clip boat and as you can see I've got my clad clips bagged up in sizes and then I have my clips that I use for when I'm in the middle of making bows now, normally my bow models are my nieces, but like I said at the moment, I don't get to see um, Lizzie, Ella and Evie, so I don't get to, to take photos of them wearing bows. So this is a cosplay wig that I have borrowed off my housemate, and at the moment I do hairstyles on her, and as you can see, this is an in and out bow that I've got a tutorial for. Um, I pull and place them on her, and at the minute she's in one of my Halloween tubs, pinned to her head because it's the only way to keep the head from moving and uh, tilting this is a box of half made tuxes that are all creased and glued etc i always tend to have a selection of them on hand and i think in here these ones are feathers by um i love your crafts ltd and i've got some mermaids in here which are eva's craft supplies and some planes in there, some other bits and pieces. Like I said, the roses are from Lovecrafts as well. So like I said, they have, I always have them at hand so I can quickly make a bunch of tux bows up if I need to. But again, I really need to start actually making them up and uh, putting all my clips and everything on. A little terror for not getting into it. This is another habit I have, which is something quite a few bow makers do. But again, we don't like to admit to. This is my basket of half finished projects. So there's absolutely nothing left to do on these other than putting a clip or bubble on and putting my centre on. But like I said, I am a terror. I do batch projects. So like I said, you can see on these, I've done quite a few of these layered half pinwheeled pinwheels. So there's about 30 in there and I did about 80 at one point all in one go. And the problem is, is I'm a terror for getting bored halfway through and then going, I'll do that later putting them in a box like this out of the way and then not doing it later so like i said we all have those kind of things that we do this is my little project basket i'm in the process of doing stuff with so i've got some really pretty summery prints out ready for a bow later and i've also got some bias ribbon from pix dot uh, crafts in there that i'm working on something at the moment and then this is my other basket that i have on my desk at all times I've got my different types of glue in here. I've got a lot of my extra strength threads, um, which are all in there. And I've got black and white, obviously, and my needles in there as well. Um, super glue and my ribbon winders. My pin pot. I've also got my hem tape. And I've got two different widths of transfer tape in there as well. Then I've got a whole pot of scissors, and I've got my fabric scissors, glitter scissors, general craft, crafting scissors and things like that. Got my tape measures. That pink thing is my finger protector when I'm using my hotfix tool, so don't burn myself. Obviously my pot of lighters. My other type of clips that I use for clipping things while I'm sort of stitching and sewing and things like that. Got a seam on picker which is one of those ones. Sorry, it's because I'm holding my camera free hand rather than it being on my desk. Give me a second. Just put them away so I don't hurt myself. So yeah, I have that, my pen, metal salon clip, an actual thread on picker. And I also have pliers in there for case like if I've got a bow with multiple layers they're great for being able to pull that through and then as I said this is my ribbon storage and I spent 
eight hours yesterday reorganising all of this because everything was everywhere and I'm one for working in organised chaos but I, I can't go past a certain level otherwise it starts to drive me mad. So this top layer, this is projects I'm halfway through where I'm working on bits and pieces for certain tutorials that you all see. Like I said, I've got some little bias bits in there at the minute, like this one. Fabric bow that I'm working on, I've got a project for that, but I've got some bleach solution that I've got. Um, this is all my 9mm that is on rolls. And then this is my interesting ribbon drawer. So here I've got fillable ribbon, it's not my favourite thing, that's why it's still sat there. Here I've got this amazing faux crushed silk which I got from Caraway Cottage and got that in multiple colours as you can see. In here I have a selection of glitter velvet and standard velvet ribbon and that is all from Lovely Crafts LTD. I have a selection of lace in here, again I believe that's from Joe at Lovecrafts. Put that in. Pulling out the bag. I've got this really pretty rose material. Again, I've got to make some bows out of that, but I can just keep leaving it out of the way. This is large elasticated like lace. Again, I've got a project in mind, but I haven't quite got to that. I've got bandanas here, it's made bandana bows. I'll show you. I was ironing them straight and I sort of made a little mistake with my floor so I've also got some silver edged satin here and that is from Hattie over at Crafty Koala which again is another lovely supplier from the UK I've got some 10mm organza ribbon that's in that one they all live in this little pod here put it all back and this one, this is some 22mm um, ribbon, some cord, and then I've got my 6mm in here, and some satin ribbon as well. Then this one is on my 2 inch, that's got my plain colours and my printed ribbon. Or my 3 inch, to show you how deep they are. That's how big. <laughs> That's our deep. <laughs> so that's a lot of ribbon. And that's all my one mil, um, one inch. And this is my biggest one. This is my 1.5. That is how big the box is. And that is how deep the box is. And the second big one. And like I said, it looks like a right mess, but it's not as bad as it looks. This is my entire box of 9mm ribbon for wrapping my centres. And I have got every colour and type that you can imagine, from standard to satin to gold edge, silver edge, glitter, um, satin there. I've got... Um, yeah, there we go. Got gold edge and silver edge again there from Lovecraft. Um, got more colours of glitter, as you can see there. There's another type in here that I've got. Ah, there we go. I've got this like almost scallopy type edged one. I forget the name of that one. Like I said, I've got all the different types in there. So, like I said, that's just, just the ribbon. So, obviously, like I said, I've had a full organise. My next task that I'm going to go through is re-separating my ribbon out. Like I said, I've separated all my ribbon, so it's by the sizes now. But my next task is to separate solid colours from plain, and I'm going to put some cardboard in to keep it separate so I can easily get to everything. So like I said, that's one of my ne next projects that I am working on. But hopefully you found that interesting. And like I said, that is a tour of my crafting desk. Those are my little mascots 
as I am making. And like I said, hopefully I will get through some of my half finished projects and actually get motivated and actually stop wasting some of the material. And like I said, what I'll also show you is, like I said, I'm going to unpick and straighten some of my ribbon out and see if I can save any. So if I do that, I'll film a little video for you and show you some little tricks on how to do that. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.